Hi, my name is Brian Coley. I'm the Chief Creative Officer of Real Experiences. And we have questions. People have questions of us all the time. And so I've kind of compiled a bunch of questions that people have of real and have about their movies that I want to share with you. And so today we're going to look at one of those questions. Uh, so let's get into it. Here we go. <clears throat> Because basically, I'm just saying whatever comes to my brain. Not gonna be edited very well. <laughs> now, nah, I'm not talking out my butt. Hi, my name is Brian Coley. I am the Chief Creative Officer. So, one of the questions that we get quite often is why 10 movies? Like, why a top 10 movie list? Why can't it be just your favorite movie? Or why can't it just be five movies? Like, why 10? Um, and there is nothing magical about 10 movies. However, there is something magical about having a palette of movies, like this palette to look across versus just one movie. Now, your favorite movie is always going to tell you a ton about you, but what's beautiful is what we call the preponderance of evidence. And what I mean by that is that like within my top 10 movie list, I remember one of the first insights was just how much my movies were about life. Like even in the title of the movies, there's Life is Beautiful, It's a Wonderful Life. And, um, and so much of it, it was about like significance and trying to find significance in life. And uh, also, I ended up finding such a theme in my movies about like at the end of the movies, these characters like in Family Man, It's a Wonderful Life, Stranger in Fiction, all these movies, even Moneyball, all these movies found that the significance that they were after in their life was found in the little things in the little sugar cookies and stranger in fiction and just the way that George actually, um, you know, gave his life to Bedford Falls and the people of Bedford Falls and all the little people who came and rescued him at the end. So I found that theme, not just in my favorite movie, like if I had picked my favorite movie, it might have been Sound of Music and I may have not as found that theme as prominently throughout my, my movie list. But once I had 10 movies, then I go, oh yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. And then I'm like, oh, well, this is pretty important to me. Uh, this is a part of my story in a big way that I never knew. So that's why we love 10 movies is because it gives us that preponderance of evidence. Um, often people go, well, why not, wouldn't five movies do that? Well, yeah, but one of the things I've seen is that a lot of people pick movies that are pretty, um, popular first and then they start going oh yeah there's these movies that like I forgot and and that I I remember seeing as a child so you know when a person picks this very unique movie that's in their childhood or that they love that would never show up on a top 10 movie list like I would never want that movie to accidentally not be on their their 10 and so giving them 10 really makes people have to work through well let me think about different aspects of my life different times in my life and usually that that sixth movie or that seventh movie ends up being that very unique movie versus probably when they started they went oh I love Forrest Gump I love Shawshank Redemption I love you know uh, Gladiator Braveheart you know like movies that we see a lot and if we had just those five movies we might see a lot of top top five movie lists be the same but ironically with 10 movies we've never seen a top 10 movie list be the same and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that specificity. We're looking for that individuality. We're looking for what we call that diversity that uh, somehow your thumbprint is in your movies and giving us 10 movies really helps that. So that's the answer to why 10 movies. Again, nothing magical about the number 10, just as far as just having more of a palette. Um, so thanks for watching this. I'm gonna do more videos on other questions that people ask. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Real Impromptu.